Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so we are going to be jumping in to do the uh, Saviors Extreme Super Battle Road no item run. I know famously this is one that Truth was unable to do for ages. Uh, shout out to our boy Nimu DBZ who's popped up in our streams a few times. Um, he sent me a screenshot on Twitter. Pretty sure he tagged Truth as well. Um, he no itemed the stage quite long before Truth did on the JP side. So of course you know, the days of the Super Battle Road King rivalry are probably in the past at this point. I mean, we all know your boy quite decisively won that feud. But we're going to see how uh, quickly we are able to get the um, Saviors ESBR No Item run done. Um, I don't know how many months it was in total since it dropped that Truth managed to do it. But we'll, uh, we're going to have some attempts on the first day here and see how we go. Um... Right, so I mean, this is probably not good, right? Because we know that Gohan... Oh, wait, I thought that... For some reason, I thought that was Gohan. Oh, yeah, it is. I double-taked and looked. I saw the wheel wrong. I thought it was... Uh, if it was double Gohan and Kid Goku, then we wouldn't have started, but... But yeah, we probably are... Uh, probably are just dead here. Because Go Gohan having to take a bunch of attacks straight away in slot 1 is not really what we want. Well, we got the support from Yajirobe at least. The friend does have some dodge. But yeah, 78k from normals. you love to see it. Decent enough damage. I really want him to get an additional. Because then he kills that AGL guy and we don't take that extra like 18k damage. Though losing the HP does mean that Kid Goku then gets to stun Demon King Piccolo. And we get the additional super, so we just kill him. And then Yajirobe seals you. Gets a crit as well, nice. I'll take that. That worked out kind of okay in the end, you know? Right, so if you, you're sealed... So if I attack lower you, and then get you to stun or kill you, so you can't hit uh, Polycon, and then attack lower you, just go for as many same type orbs since we need the health, even if it means we don't get the 18 key super, I think that's good. Dokkan really thought this category was good enough with that. Well, remember, you're not supposed to do it with no items, right? It's not like there's a no items mission in the game. So if there was a no items mission in the game, that would be Dokkan saying that they think the team is good enough to do with no items. But obviously it's a self-imposed challenge. The good old uh, dodge to normal eat the super as well. Love to see that. All right, so you... Did he take him out? I think he did, right? And then we attack lower you. Oh, nice. Yeah, we've already got the one enemy left now. Who is attack lowered? I mean, we just do that. No re no need to not not do it. There's that KO screen. Although, I suppose, realistically, I should have at least picked up orbs of Gohan so I could heal a little bit. But All right, so this is looking good. We got, go we got uh, 16 on the first turn, which is good. We've got uh, Yajirobe for the support. That's not good, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to get hit by Freezer to actually unlock your damage reduction. And you're just going to get clapped. Do you have any dodge? He's got a bit of dodge. Yeah, but then he just gets clapped by Freezer, so I have to do this. Yeah, I think he just, I think he just, the fact that it's only King Cold attacking in slot one, because if Freezer's attacking in slot one, uh, Freezer will be attacking first, and then he procs, um, he procs uh, 16's damage reduction, but if King Cold's attacking in slot one, yeah, he doesn't, so we literally died because uh, Freezer's not attacking in slot one, that's crazy. Yo, Carnage, how's it going? Although, I mean, double super from 16, now that he is going to have his guard and he's got a double defense raise, maybe he'll live? I 
and Pycon gets the stun on this guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we just need Yajirobe to not get killed. Although I think Yajirobe... Yajirobe, we got lucky on the last turn where he dodged that one attack in, attack in slot three. Because usually he gets hit by the first attack and then has to dodge. But yeah, he took double digits. Crazy. Look at that. What a goat. Um, and then we get the Oob transformation, so we get the heal. Which keeps us... We get the heal, but we keep the enough um, HP. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so your attack lowered and sealed. So if we use the active skill on... We do kind of want Cold Judgment. I don't really want to float off Kid Goku, though. Oh, this is tricky. Because you're not sealed. So if I stunned you and put Kid Goku in slot one, Freezer could super attack him. I mean, to be fair, Frieza super attacks in slot one. I'm just dead anyway. Although, of course... We'd have the guard. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough choice. Um, I think we just have to stun Freezer because he's the only one that could super. And then I'll just have to do that. Because as much as I don't want to float off Kid Goku, um, he does have the. Uh, this is. They have cold judgments. He has 172k, but if I put you there, you have a. Well, actually, that's barely any difference, is it really? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So we keep attacking you. And then get those on you as well. All right. That's actually pretty crazy. We covered from the jump scares. Yeah, shout out to everyone that came out to the uh, Silent Hill short message stream last night. That was a good, fun, spooky horror game over on the second channel. Um, I'll put the link to the second channel in the chat now, actually. Yeah, that was quite good. Just a good, like, hour and... It took just under two hours to do the whole... It was just a mini short first-person horror game, kind of like PT. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was good. It was fun. A lot of spoops. A lot of jump scares, but it was good. Uh, see, the only downside to this is I now have the units that I kind of want to be on the first turn, not on the first turn. All right, Freezer's attack lowered, but he's not sealed, so we could get supered. Okay, we didn't get supered and we took double digits. Let's go. All right. Surprisingly, this is our first attempt of today, and this is the best attempt we've had so far. <laughs> Yeah, I've had pretty good RNG so far, so I'd like to see. Uh, pin that, there we go. Alright. So Pycon should finish off Freezer here. Alright, so what are we looking at for the next turn? The problem is we're not low enough HP to use Kid Goku's active skill straight away, so... And the last fight is only one enemy, which means they attack like 50 million times. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like this. Double check the Ajirobe support thingy. He gives one key for allies in the third slot. So he's going to get one extra key, which means we could give... Oh, no, you can get those. Perfect. I didn't even realise. Um, okay. Now, the only thing, basically, all we have to really hope for here is that Goku, uh, Gohan takes a little bit of damage, but obviously doesn't get killed. And then by dropping below the certain amount of HP, Kid Goku will then automatically stun. Like, it'll be a guaranteed stun. But if he supers Gohan, especially pre-super, we're dead. Okay, good. Now, Gohan, if you could double super, that'd be nice. Okay, he didn't double super. 
Okay, we didn't get supered, so he's stunned now. And then, yeah, Jirobi's going to seal him. So, okay. Because I think this Goku stun is only one turn stun. So, no, uh... The only problem is, of course, that 16 is just not good now. But 16 at least does have the greatly attack lower. <clears throat> Oob with the heal. Oh god, yeah, that's the only problem. This rotation is now 16, Pycon and Oob. And no one on this rotation can stun. Oh, he's been passively stunned. Wait, no, Kid Goku's... Wait, does Kid Goku... I thought Kid Goku only stunned for one turn. Oh no, he has the chance to stun on his super attack anyway. So when you're below a certain amount of HP, this is why you bring Kid Goku. He's such an old unit now. Can't wait for his EZA. Um, he has the chance to... Uh, he gets the stun on his passive if you're below a certain amount of HP. But that is only for one turn. If the super attack gets the stun, the super attack is for two turns. Now when he super attacks the enemy and the stun icon comes up, you actually have no way to know which one it is, whether it's the passive one for one turn, or if it's the super attack one for two turns. Um, and it was the super attack one because he's still stunned, which means we've probably won. Um, I need to float off 16 now because he's just useless at this point. Um, I mean, the links for Pycon is good, but... I say useless, he does greatly lower attack, which is nice, but... But yeah, I think I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. But I think we're uh, looking good here, boys. We got the uh, attack. Another big attack lower from Oob. And uh, Pycon. I think Pycon only gets the one turn stun from his thing if he stuns. I'm not sure. Although if his super attack again, his super attack effect. If it's a stun from his super attack effect, then it's two turns. And then uh, 16 greatly lowers attack. So yeah, no, it is only one turn. Double Gohan rotation is pretty awkward though, and he isn't and he isn't stunned. Oof. Uh, it's not stunned. Sorry, I mean sealed. I don't think I can get the Dokkan attack either. I mean it's close, but then I'd have to get this, and that means no super for Gohan, which is a bit too dangerous. Well, we're close, but right, don't super me, you bum. Oh. Yeah, we need Kid Goku to clutch. Kid Goku needs to clutch it out with the super attack stun again. Oh my god, we can't, we're so close on this run. This is crazy. Gohan might live this. We're on full health. Okay. Okay. I think we're good, actually, because with him being attack lowered, I think everyone on the turn survives normals. Uh, I mean, Kid Goku, it's, it could be scary. Oh, Kid Goku. Kid Goku, let's go. Alright. And that means we get Dokkan attack. I think we just win now, right? Because we get the Dokkan attack on the next turn. So, it's GG. First run of the day as well. Look at that. There you go. Oh, and we got... Look at this. We got... Who's going to hit hardest? It's probably going to be Oob, right? And he has Cold Judgment active, though. Uh... Although Oob has type disadvantage, but it probably is Oob that's going to hit harder. Do you share any links with Yajirobe? No. I mean, I imagine it's going to be Oob, let's be fair. Alright. Well, there we go. Time to get serious. Let's make sure we hit all these nodes. Oh, never mind. That went way slower than I thought it was going. <laughs> well, the fortunate thing is here, even if by some bizarre twist of fate, we were not to kill him this turn, uh, he's going to get sealed by Yajirobe. He's getting attack lowered even more. And then we have that Gohan that tanked the attacks in slot one on the previous turn would still be in slot one on the next turn and has got more supers since then. So even if we somehow didn't kill him on this turn, we've won anyway. But... There you go, AGL PyCon getting the KO. You love to see that. Super Strike PyCon. <laughs> well, there you go. Saviors, uh, Super Battle Road. Uh, first run of the day. It's literally 20 past 7 in the morning, uh, UK time. So, you know, 
as the saying goes. You've got to get up early in the day to catch the uh, the true king of Super Battle Road. So there you go. Saviors, Extreme Super Battle Road done. No items. Two days after release and not two months or whatever it was. But there you go. So Saviors, ESBR, stage 50. Just think, we had, was it 75 stage for normal Super Battle Road come out? Yes, the other, uh, on Monday as well. So that's in total, what, 125 stages of Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. That's crazy. So check out the playlist. They're all there. No items. Um, yeah, that was... I mean, we definitely got some good luck. But the fact that I did not have to reset all of my units completely to full dodge, we definitely clutched it up with some of the luck there. You need so many things to go your way, like... Even things like not losing enough HP, like on that turn where Kid Goku got the stun mid-turn, if like, say for example, a full dodge Gohan had dodged every single attack in slot one, we might not have got that stun. Like things can just go good or bad constantly mid-turn. It's pretty crazy. So Xavier's ESBR, bit rough, but there you go. So that is the run done. Let me know how you guys got on if you beat the run, whether it's with items or not. Let me know what team build you use down below in the comment section. And uh, now we can awaken Trunks. We're definitely going to try him out on uh, the new Vegeta team. But yeah, there we go. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.